hello everyone so i went to primark for the first time in nearly two years the last time i went was september of 2019 to get a few bits for christmas for my niece and then come december i was going to go on the january sales but then we had about a pandemic on the way so um i was quite cautious i was going through a lot of health conditions of health appointments were coming up so um i'd never had time to really go and then the pandemic came so this is the first time i've been in ages so i've got some leggings which i just like to lounge around in i use them as pajama bottoms lounge around bottoms study bottoms you know they're just comfy easy to chuck on lightweight i like them so, so i'm just going to insert the clip of these leggings here that i got from primark so i've got two of these pairs here these are the extra long leg leggings from um primark they only do them in black which is really annoying they were two pounds eighty each. Then here, as you can see, I've got one, two pairs of the green, three pairs of the grey, and three pairs of the normal blue ones, which are normally three pound but are two pound fifty. So I've got ten pairs of leggings there for twenty five pound sixty. I do wear them as casual wear. Not going to be funny if I'm going to my mum's house to sit in the garden. I'm going to wear a pair of Primark leggings. Um, I use them as pajamas. I use them to lounge around the house. I use them to do housework in. I just prefer them to pajama bottoms because sometimes I find the pajama bottom legs squeeze the bottom of my legs. I've got quite um quite um bony feet and sometimes it rubs on the bone of my foot. So I've got this one which has one of my cat's hairs on it and it's really not coming off. There we go. This is an Adidas one. They're like the Wimbledon's tennis players hats. from the sun coming down on your face um so i've got this one which was 20 pounds from freeman's and i also ordered the one in the black as well but these are just so if i'm walking around they look much better with my hair down than they do up um, i can uh, protect my skin a little bit um, and i like that i can still feel quite girly i can still hair in a bun, I can still curl the ponytail, I still do things without looking like I'm covering my entire hair, you know, it's still quite feminine, so yeah, they were £20 each from Freeman's, then I picked up some bits from Primark, so, I've got things blowing everywhere, let me turn this fan off, it is 29 degrees Celsius in my front room currently, so I picked up this pair of shorts, now it does have a, um, belt on it and I don't like this particular I don't like this particular one um, this one was five pounds and yeah they fit nicely they've got pockets but the problem I've got is I don't like the belt the belt makes me feel like I'm restricted I like to be able to I always go size up in clothing um, and then you know nip it in at the waist if I need to with safety pins because if I can't breathe, I need to feel like I have elasticated clothing. I need to feel like I can breathe. I can move my diaphragm, which is, you know, in your abdomen, your stomach area. Um, and I don't like things that cling to me because when I can't breathe, I'm already feeling quite sweaty and muggy and just, you know, heavy. I don't want something adding to that. So that's why I don't like them. But if you're not asthmatic, you'll probably like them. So this one was five pounds. Um, I will wear it, but it's not my favourite set that I picked up. So that's that. I then picked up several of these types. So they're exactly the same practically, except for the belt, um, which I like. But also it's elasticated, so you can almost make it look a whole size more. Now I could have gone a size or I could have gone a size and a half down in these, to be honest, but um Again, I like to be able to breathe and I like all my clothing to be looser so that I can move my diaphragm. When you move your diaphragm and you breathe, your stomach is supposed to move. It's not supposed to stay flat because your diaphragm goes from being flat to domed, which changes your position of your belly, if you didn't know. So if your belly isn't moving when you breathe in, you're breathing dysfunctionally. Um, these ones were £4 and I love them. So I've got this colour, which is quite a nude colour, which I like. Um, 
I've got two sets of them apparently because I like them that much. Here's the second set. So one and two. And then I've got it in a sort of pink coral colour as well. Um, so I got mine in the size 18. I probably could have gotten away with a 14. Um, I like that the legs on these as well don't stick to your thighs because there's nothing worse in summer than your legs being strangled by a pair of shorts. I've got several pairs of shorts that I took on holiday to Spain. And even in Spain, where the humidity is not as bad as it is here in the UK, they would stick to my legs. I feel like I was being squeezed. I could not wait to get them off. Um, these don't do that, so that's why I'm trialing these this year. So yeah, um, always wear a pair of nude underwear because they are a little bit see-through. I also picked up some camis from Primark. I've got two red ones. One of them's here. And then one of them is here. Um, so I've got two, two, two of them. Um, and they are see-through at the bottom, but not on the breast, which is fine. But these are quite flowy, so I like that because, um, again, it's not sticking to me. It's not making me feel like I can't breathe. So I've got two of those. They were they were four pounds or something like that so i could fit into a size 14 if i didn't have the jugs but i do have boobs um and then the size 16 they fit on my boobs but they make my boobs look like they're being squished so i went for an 18 just for the boob area and then um yeah because as you can see they cinch it in underneath so here is the um, bit for the breast. Oh, are we looking? And you've got this little bit here. And that pushes in on your boobs and squeezes them. Um, or at least I find that. So I went uh, two sizes up so that the boobs were being squished. Because no one wants squished boobs. Like this is uh, clothing, not a mammogram. So I've got this one which I really, really like as well. And that is all I got from Prom Up. I did get two floppy hats that were three pounds each, but I don't really like them. So the first thing I picked up were these cute cat hooks. Um, they just stick with a 3M sticker on things, and I thought these would be perfect when I moved to store my keys. So I picked those up, and then I picked up some kimonos um as well and another cami and i'm gonna get some more cami so here is the first kimono i picked up and it's just this beautiful it is see-through sadly but it flows and it'll help with some wind um yeah beautiful rose color um none of the kimonos i bought were more than about nine pounds so really good prices what i like is that everything comes in its own little bag as well so it's good for storage um i go a size up in these again the boobs trying to get over the boobs trying to fit the shoulders i don't know i don't like to feel like i'm being squeezed by my clothing i know a lot of other people can wear like vests that are quite tight fitting i can't do that because i can't breathe so i always go size up but I'll link what I've bought down in the description below. So there's that kimono, the rose one. This has to be my second favourite kimono. Um, because I thought it would look much better um, if it wasn't really see-through. But this again is the white rose kimono. Um, really soft, really nice. It feels almost silky to touch. I really like that and I've got a cami that I'm going to show you that this will go perfect with. It is the kimono, the, it is the literally the kimono but in cami form, like that is the same pattern which I think is really nice. So yeah, and this fits so well. Now this is a maternity cami and again the reason why i wanted the maternity camis over normal camis is because it gives you room to move your stomach if you think about when you're pregnant and how you move in your stomach this gives you that room 
so yeah it's really flowy and it's really airy and it was nice around the boobs it wasn't tight around the boobs like it didn't show my boobs but also kept me covered but gave me boob space so there's that one this is probably one of my favorite items that i've got it's this kimono and i just think this would look really nice with one of the red camis on so yeah really nice um i'm not a fan of the stitching on the arm like it's a bit restrictive again i don't like restrictive clothing but really nice really soft i've got a kimono that my dad got me my stepdad got me um a few years ago now um and it's a melrose kimono beautiful so this is currently the only kimono i have that i like my mum and dad bought it for me quite a few years ago now um is it a medium um and that's my favorite kimono i've ever had but i can't find another one so we're trialing other things this one is the kimono that is the second order because i ordered one in the um xxl and it fitted lovely um and it was really loose but my mum also wanted one so this one she wanted one that she could fit in um as well and uh she's got bigger boobs than me so i said she could have this one so i ordered this one in a large as you can see um it's still really loose and really airy like as you can see that's quite you know a bit of fabric like it goes from here to here so yeah um but it does have that weird arm situation going on and it's just beautiful and it comes quite far down it's got these bits and it's just flowy the air just blows so i really like this my mum stole my first one that i ordered so i had to order a second one for myself um thankfully they had a size that still fitted um i could probably have gone for a medium in this but then it would be quite tight and um i don't know anyone that wants to wear tight clothing in summer like it's just not the one and then finally from Shein is a love heart kimono and i was quite skeptical because this is my first order i've ever done on the Shein website um and i was quite skeptical that they were even a real company but apparently they are so here is this kimono this is in a medium because it's quite big and it's just love heart but it's not see-through like you see so i really like that i thought that again would look nice with the red cami i thought that would look quite nice with the red cami as well so that's everything that i bought from Shein. um i did get some cat stickers i'll see if i can like insert some pictures of them um i've got two sets for my niece um the 199 ones and 99p ones i think they were so she really enjoys them she loves cats she's a mad cat lady just like me um yeah and then the final item i bought now again as i said i like to be able to breathe when it's summer i feel quite heavy um so when i go do the grocery shop or something like that i'm already struggling quite a bit with the breathing situation anyway um so yeah it can be quite difficult so um i hate carrying a heavy handbag so i picked up this from studio not freeman's she's like a little uh, bum bag um you've got two compartments quite big i could fit everything that i need in there my inhaler my iphone um my keys for my car um sunscreen important for rosacea and i can also um carry my nebulizer with me on my shoulder which is great um this come to 17.99 so yeah, when I go for the grocery shop, um, I could just wrap this around my waist and off I go. I don't have to worry if I wanna, if I'm having a good day, I don't have many good days, but if I'm having a good day, I like to try and get outside, go walk by the river or the sea, get some sea air in my lungs because it's really good for asthma. Um, but that can't always happen. But if I did do that, I could carry my water bottle in this hand, have my iPhone, my AirPods, my car keys, my house keys, etc. in this thing. I carry my nebulizer but then when i'm normally walking around carrying a massive handbag full of stuff a nebulizer trying to find somewhere to put my water it can be quite difficult um so this just takes away the stress so yeah that's everything that i purchased for this summer i hope you enjoyed this little video uh
let me know below if you want any more videos and i will see you later bye